Carrick Alley team, it's Coach E and Coach Gabby here. This video is aimed at our kinder gym kids, however anybody can get involved. You may need some help with this video, so try and grab mum or dad or brother and sister. Um, and I hope you're ready to have some fun and get active. Woo, let's go! Like Miss E did say, today is a kinder gym day. So get ready to focus on your gross motor skills, so all of your big muscles, your arms, your belly, your legs. Also get ready to use all of your fine motor skills, so all of the little muscles in your bodies, for example, in your fingers and your toes. And we're also focusing on our cognitive development. So using our brains, we're going to be focusing on some numbers, some colors, some shape sorting. Let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, we're gonna warm up our bodies, make sure our bodies are nice and warm so we don't get any injuries. And the warm up game we're gonna to play today is the color game. So Coach Gabby and I will give you a colour that you need to go and find in your lounge room or somewhere close around your lounge room. You need to tap that colour and come back to your spot. So Coach Gabby, let's start with running on the spot. And you'll have five seconds, remember, to find this colour. And your first colour is yellow. Off you go, find something yellow. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And now we're going to find, no, now we're going to do some jumping first. So feet together, jumping up and down, up and down. Now you're going to find the color red. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, what we're going to do on the, oh, let's actually make it a bit higher, Miss Gabby. Let's hop on one foot. Okay. So one foot down, one foot up. Make sure you don't put that foot down. And if you want, you can change legs now. Good job. Okay, your next colour to find is the colour brown. You have five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, all right, our last colour and our last thing to do, we're going to do some star jumps. So open, close, open, close. And I want you to find your favourite colour. So it could be green or purple or pink or yellow, whatever colour it is, go and high five it. And come back. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Now that we're nice and warmed up, we can start our gymnastics. Okay, our first skill today is our rock and roll. So we're going to put our legs up in our tuck shape. We're going to squeeze our knees up to our chest. We're going to put our chin down to our chest. And we're going to rock backwards. We're going to do this three times. Then we're going to stop and then we're going to do another three. Now, if you're really, really good at your rock and rolls, you can put something in between your feet, a toy in between your feet, and you need to hold the toy in there. Or if you're not really good at your rock and rolls yet and you're still practicing, you can get mum or dad or brother and sister to help you. Okay, let's get started. Chin to our chest, knees up nice and tight, and we're going to rock back, and up, back, and up, and one more. Excellent. All right, I think we can do that one more time. Let's do three more rock and rolls. Chin to our chest, knees up nice and tight. One, two, and one more. Excellent, well done guys. Okay, our next skill that we're gonna do today is our bear walking. So in a moment, I want you to pause the video, go grab four toys and lay them in a straight line on the floor. Okay. Once you're ready, we're going to stand in front of our toys with our legs nice and wide, our high five hands ready. We're going to come down over our toys. Nice straight legs, straight arms if you can. And we're going to walk, bear walk, over our toys, making sure that our bellies are not touching the toys. And then we're going to go backwards. Go back the other way. All the way to the end. And sitting on your knees or on your bottoms. So this is warming up your leg muscles, your shoulder muscles, your arm muscles, and getting us used to having pressure on our arms and legs at the same time. Okay, for our next activity, we're going to do some sliding. I've got two pieces of cardboard here that I've just found. You might have some cardboard at home. This is gonna help me slide easier on the carpet. But if you've got tiles at home, you can put socks on and do your sliding, or you can ask mum or dad or whoever's looking after you for something that you can slide with, like a towel or an old t-shirt or something like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to put these on the floor. Going to put my feet on top. 
and we're going to slide, actually we're going to turn this way so we can slide forwards. Slide forwards, make sure you're moving your arms as well. We're using our big leg muscles for this one. And the other way. Now if you're super tricky, I want you to try and slide backwards. It's a lot trickier than forwards. You can turn around as well. We can slide sideways. We're going to use our big thigh muscles for this one. We're going to bend down knees a little bit and slide all the way to the side and then back again. That's getting my legs nice and warm. Good job, guys. On to our next activity. We are going to do a little tuck handstand. So, first, I want you to give your hands a bit of a shake. Get them nice and warm, do some circles, open and close with your fingers, get everything really nice and warm. So you can use a chair, you can use a step, you can use the edge of the lounge, whatever you have that's going to be available for you and that's stable, it's not going to slide away. All right, so we wanna put our feet or our knees on the top. So I'm going to put my knees first. And you have really, really, really strong muscles with your arms, putting your knees on the chair. And just holding your muscles. We're gonna hold five, four, three, two, one. And coming down. We're going to do that one more time, and I wanna see if you can hold it for seven seconds this time. Also, if it's a bit too um, easy, you can move your hands in closer to the chair so your bottom will stick up in the air even more, and that's gonna give you more hard work on your shoulders. But if it's fine where it is, you just keep your hands where it is. We're going to do it for seven seconds. And hold one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. If you can only hold it for three, you do two um, tuck hands in for three seconds. If you want to try 10 seconds, definitely do so. Give your hands a bit of a shake, and that is practicing for one day when you can do a really big handstand by yourself. All right, now we're going to sit in our butterfly stretch. So feet together, holding onto our toes nice and tight because we are going to start moving. So if we want to go left first, we're going to do some butterfly rolls. So I'm going to roll onto my left shoulder first and we're going to roll all the way around on our back to sit back onto our bottoms again. This is going to be a little bit tricky, so make sure you do have a soft surface. If you do have tiles, put a, um, a blanket or a towel underneath you because you are going to be rolling on your back. Um, mum and dad can also help and support and make sure you're rolling around properly and you're not just falling on your back. So we're going to roll to one side, my left shoulder is going to go down and my right knee is going to go in the air, my bottom is going to come off the floor and I roll all the way around and then you can go all the way around again and again all the way around, feet in the air and you can just keep going and going and going making sure again you have enough space and a soft surface. Also make sure your head is tucked down so we're not letting our head fall on the floor as well. We're going to do one more and I'm going to go the other way. So this time I'm going to go towards my right, my knees going to go in the floor and then my left bottom all the way around until my feet are in the air. So we're lying down, looking up at the sky until I'm facing the back and keep going all the way around and around. And there are our butterfly rolls. All right, now we're back up standing and we are going to use our toys again. So I've already spread out all of my toys. If you do have your toys from Miss E's videos, just use them. If you don't have any yet, pause this video, quickly go get some, get around four or five, and then come back. So firstly, we're going to do some jumping around our toys. So I've spread my toys out in a nice long line. I'm going to put my kangaroo um, hands on and I'm going to zigzag through the um, animals and weave my way around. So starting right at the back, my hands are on, and we're going to jump. Don't jump on the animal. All the way back to the start. Now you can turn around and go forwards and weave your way backwards through, or you can even jump backwards. Just make sure you don't jump on the animal. You can jump backwards all the way to the start. Then I want you to collect all of your animals, and we're going to put them in a circle. All of them ready. And we're going to jump around the circle and then the other way too. So my kangaroo hands are on and we're going to jump around. 
But to start again, I can jump forwards the other way or I can even jump backwards in a circle. And then my kangaroo jumps. All right, now to finish up, we need to clean up. So I want you to get a basket or a box or your toy box or something that we can put them together. So you need to get all of your toys, put them in a basket, and I want you to use your arm muscles and push the basket. So we're going to start bending your knees and push as quickly as you can all the way around in a circle. Back to the start. If you want to, you can put something at one end, one the, um, something at the other end, and you can make it an obstacle course and push from one end to the other end. So up your hallway and down the hallway or from one side of your lounge room to the other. If you want to push it around in a circle, you can even pull it around in a circle however you'd like to do it. And then I want you to pick it up and give it back to mum and dad and you are done. All right, now I want you to find a blank wall, nothing with any photo frames or anything on it, just a blank wall and a ball. We are now going to use our fine motor skills. So we're going to start with our fingers and our hands and our wrists. And I want you to put the ball against the wall, have some pressure on it so it doesn't fall off. And I want you to walk your little spider fingers all the way up as tall as you can and hold it there with your fingers and then get both hands and walk your spider fingers all the way down to the floor and then we're going to do it one more time pushing it using your hands and your feet and your fingers all the way up to the top and walking your spider fingers all the way down as far down as you can all right i've cho chosen my two favorite toys from our basket um, and we are going to do some opposite arm circles so first we're not going to use them we're just going to do it with no toys. Both of your arms are up at your ears. They're going to split at the top. So one arm's going to go forwards and one arm's going to go backwards. And you're going to try and keep them apart. And you don't want them to come together until finally your fingers are back at the roof and they're at the starting point. We're going to do it one more time with no toys. One goes forward, one goes back, and they're staying as far apart as they can until they meet up at the top again. This is really, really tricky if we just want to do some backward arm circles at the same time we can, or forwards, but if you're really, really clever and you want to challenge yourself, I want you to do some opposite arm circles. We can also get toys, so they can be as big as or as small as you would like. They can be your favourite toys. Maybe make sure that they're not too hard, that they're a bit soft, and they can do some circles as well. So I'm going to hold each of them by their hands. This is also a good visual indication to make sure that they're actually splitting. So if you notice your two toys next to each other, you know they're not opposite arm circles anymore. And the bigger the um, toy, the easier it is to see. So they're going to split and then they need to find each other again at the top. And then you can do the other arm forwards and the other arm backwards and they need to split and then they need to find each other at the top. Once you have got that, they can be continuous. They say hello, but then they pass each other. Hello, and then they pass each other, and they can be continuous arm circles as well. It's also very good to watch in the mirror, um, and you can also get your mum or dad to record you to see if you are doing opposite arm circles or not. Okay, so this is the last time mums and dads, we promise that we're gonna mess up your lounge room. Kids, I need you to go grab some toys, like I've got my little toy friends here. So you can pause this video here, go grab some toys and sit down on the floor with your toys in front of you. Okay, once you've got your toys, I want to, we're going to start sorting them out. So we're going to sort them from smallest to biggest. Now if you've got really small toys, I want to see if you can just use two fingers. So the smaller the toy, the less fingers we're going to use. If you have a big toy, obviously you're going to use more fingers. Um, I'm going to start with my little dinosaur here, so I might use my two fingers, my pincer grip, pick up my dinosaur and pop in there. Now my next toy would be my duck. What's your next toy? I'm gonna to use two fingers as well for this one, because I can use two fingers. All right, my next toy is a ball. What's your next toy? I'm going to use maybe five fingers for this one. How many fingers did you use in yours? All right, now I'm trying to decide whether my drum or my dinosaur is bigger. Hmm, I think I'm going to go with my drum. So I'm going to use my two hands, nice big toy, and pop it down there. Then my dinosaur. And then maybe my teddy bear. I'm going to use two hands for my teddy bear, it's a big toy. 
And last but not least, my big beach ball. I'm gonna put that right on the end. So for our little toys, we used only a little, only a couple of fingers, or maybe two fingers, three fingers. For our bigger toys, we used all of our fingers on one hand, or we used two hands. We hope you had lots of fun in our lesson today. The most fun I had today was making a paper aeroplane. So make sure you have mum or dad take some photos or some videos of you making your paper aeroplanes, seeing how far your paper aeroplanes can go and also all the gymnastics things that you learnt today. We hope you had lots of fun today in the lesson. We used our little muscles, our fine motor skills, our big muscles, gross motor skills, and we used our brain today when we were sorting out our toys. Now, don't forget about our Rec Elliot homepage. Make sure you get mum and dad to take some photos and videos of all your gymnastics, everything that you've learnt. And I wanna see how far your paper aeroplane can go. Hope to see you soon.